this is episode 10 welcome to boomer guitar sessions today is gonna be the chuck berry top 10 list of absolutely usable licks that we could repurpose and we can build vocabulary from so when i'm picking my first batch of licks for y'all they got to be reusable they got to be reusable i don't just want to learn chuck berry tunes i want to be able to uh check out licks that could be repurposed in a lot of different ways so chuck berry's uh guitar playing is great for that so with that said what we're going to do is we're going to combine lots of stuff from your hammer-ons and your pull-offs and your bending notes and your phrasing and all that kind of stuff all one lick at a time uh some advice we're going to as we go go through this i'm going to give you advice some some different things i'm going to promise you that i'm not going to talk the whole way through i'm going to do some playing today um so anyway so chuck chuck berry's top 10 lists uh when i'm picking licks the first thing that i do is i find licks that speak to me and that's what you should do as well so what licks speak to you that's what's going to make you different. So the first three licks we're going to check out, numbers one through three, are what I call one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two licks. When I say that, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's lick one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's a good rock and roll lick. It's a good start. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So the slide is on the one. Okay, that's lick number one. Okay, licks number two and three are just variations on that using bent notes. So I'm bending that note. That is the classic Chuck Berry lick. Okay, that's in that's in tons of songs. Chuck Berry and otherwise. Okay, that's lick number two. So what we're doing here is just breaking it down into bite-sized uh, little pieces. So it's like bend. Notice that my first finger is barred on the first uh, on the fifth fret. All of these licks are going to be uh, are are going to be within the family of minor pentatonic, but Chuck Berry does not just stick to the minor pentatonic. He does other stuff too, which we'll explain when we get to it. This is your this is your A minor pentatonic. So these are all licks within that scale. All right, so it's going to be. Okay, that's lick number two. Lick number three is very close to that, very close to that. So lick number three is going to be. Just practice the lick over and over again. Just get the licks down first, and then later on we'll repurpose them. So if you can't do it, just slow everything down. All right, that's lick number three. Now we're going to get into the, some, some of the interesting stuff. Uh, lick number four is kind of uh, what Chuck Berry does is this is what I call the Chuck Berry scale. He adds notes, like he'll add this note. to the minor pentatonic and also he uses that note and and that those notes so he combines major pentatonic with minor pentatonic uh it's a lot of theory right now but all you need to know is this note this note they're all game in in the blues and in chuck berry's world that's something he borrowed from charlie christian So uh, the lick number four is going to be an easy, easy add. So it's going to be like. Um... Okay, so that's lick number four. 
we're adding that little that little minor third to major third blue note combination so all right lick number five i love this thing Add that to anything and it sounds really, really cool. Okay. That little thing. That's the six. Now, one of the things you want to do, what, what is cool about all these licks is they're interchangeable. What that means is I can go. All right, you can interchange all of them and you can you can jam with them and work where once you get each one of these licks down, you can you can start grouping them together and, and varying them up in ways that none of the licks do. You experiment. Okay, this is not classical music. You're learning some, you're learning these phrases, but the expectation is that that gets you started and then you, you, you play these things your own way and you, you group them up in your own way and it's, it's a sound. So anyway, so lick number six. One, two, three, four. <laughs> kind of a double stop lick. Now I can go. Or I can bend it. I can play single notes instead of double stops. These are those are fourth, third, third intervals. All right, so that's a one. Okay, lick number seven. It's taking the, the, the Chuck Berry lick we learned before and going. How did I do that? Cool thing about this is we're learning licks. We're also learning how to apply all our techniques, the hammer-ons, pull-offs, bending in tune, all that kind of stuff. Lick number eight. That little movement there is very Chuck Berry-ish. By the way, this lesson and it, we have um, it was brought to you by the Guitar Collective. This is my online guitar community. Do you want to play, get better with other people? That is that is what Guitar Collective is all about. Do you want to get um, be a part of a community? People all striving to do the same stuff that you are. So, in you can download the link to this music in the description of of this video. So. That is a new thing for episode 10 we're going to start including some of the music so you don't have to guess at what i'm what, what what i'm you don't have to slow down the video and all that kind of stuff so anyway 
with that said, um, that's another one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. This is um, number nine. Number nine. So it's going to be. Uh, Chuck Berry style double stops. When I say double stops, they're two note things. That that sounds great in that style of um, in that style of playing. Those are all double stops. All right, now lick number ten, the last group of double stops. Uh, what it is, is going to be... Now, the next thing that I would do is I'd just take all of these licks, that was licks numbers 1 through 10, Isolate them, get them down, get them down to the point where it feels like you, you got it under your fingers and, and then get, get downloaded backing track. What I, what I, I do is I, I would go to YouTube and I go Chuck Berry Blues and A. Download a backing track and then you learn to repurpose this. Again, what we want to do is we want to break things down into the bike size chunks when we're learning it. If, uh, if we can't do the lick at, at, at a fast tempo, we, we do it at whatever tempo we can and then build it up incrementally, speed-wise. We want to experiment with variations. We, want to, um, we don't just want to play licks as if they're, they're carved in stone and, and they can't be uh, varied on. The, the, the idea of licks is to, to, to give you a bank of melody that we can, the, the, the bank of ideas that we can improvise with and it make it sound we don't want to sound like a scale we want to sound like phrases we want to sound like uh we want to sound like music all right so there you have it my five tips uh hold on let me see my five tips are going to be in the description here okay that we just discussed and uh that's it for this guitar episode of Boomer Guitar Sessions. And if you dug today's session, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with 50 of your closest friends. And you can do this. I believe in you. And until next time, I'll see you.